So Jake, everyone on the interwebs is talking about how your new favorite powder is triple seven. What? Yeah, bro. Everyone's talking about it. What? Yeah. Whole interwebs. It's all over YouTube. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, you wanna know what my problem is with substitutes? They don't work in flintlocks. Oh, come on, dude. You... Have you tried it? I've tried all the other ones. Have you tried it in a flintlock? I haven't have... tried triple seven in a flintlock, but I already know how it's gonna go. Don't, no, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. You're gonna have to do it. Fine. Okay, so this is 50 grains of triple seven, 3F, and I've primed it with triple seven as well. And you can tell I'm really excited about it. Ew. God. And he still hit it. Throw that shit away. He's 1805, so at least it's fast. Yeah. Fast fucking, I watched it sizzle in your pan for a minute before it went off. Did I hit the target? You, yes. you fucking hit it. See, you can't <laughs> flinch, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll salute you on that one, brother. I'll salute you. All right, so the same 50 grains of 777 3F, but I have it primed with 4F real black powder. Sons of bitches. Sure you're not Irish. Such a briny storm. One more try. All right. What the? F Junk. Peter Puffer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Still hung. 1872. Did I hit that? Yeah, you hit it. For the seven that wasn't all. I mean, it was better than priming it with triple yeah. seven, oh, but yeah. it still hangs. Yeah. No, you have to. No, I don't give a f what anybody says. You have to use real black powder if you're using a flintlock. There's always the one dude that says, well, I've been using Pyrodex and it works great. No, you're not. -uh. Nah, yeah. No. Sorry. Quit lying to yourself. Yeah. Picks or it didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> well, it seems like I'm always picking on substitutes. Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're one of those people that prefers the substitutes for whatever reason, it's easy, it's cheap, it's available, whatever, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. Keep on doing that. I would always rather see people be able to shoot their muzzle loaders, even if it's with a substitute, than not be able to shoot them because they can't get real black powder. That's the way I look at it. Now, with that being said, flintlocks require real black powder. Unless you are willing to go through the hoops to live with that ridiculously bad hang fire, if it fires at all, every time you pull the trigger, well, that's up to you, I suppose. Me, I'm not going to tolerate that. Pyrodex, 777, Black MZ, all of those substitutes take my Kibler, which is a fine rifle with a very fast lock time, and turn it into a complete piece of junk because of how it shoots. I think that's pretty much fact. You don't have to like it. Again, if you like the substitutes, fine. Glad to hear it. But you can't tell me that that kind of performance in a flintlock is acceptable. It's not, by any measure. Now, if you have to use a substitute in a flintlock, I suppose it would have to go something like this. When I used 777 in the main charge and then primed it with black powder, I had repeated flashes in the pan and I had to get the vent pick and pick it. And even still, when it went off, it wasn't that fast. It was much faster, but not very fast. The only way to get reliable ignition that I have found if you're using a substitute, which I don't recommend, is to use a small charge 
of real black powder, five or 10 grains, then put your substitute on top of it with your patch and ball, and then prime it with real black powder. That is the only way that I have ever found to get reliable, fast ignition out of a substitute. Now, my attitude on that is if you have to use real black powder in order to make it work, why not just use real black powder? Now, I know there's going to be somebody that says, I only have a half pound of Go X and it's all I got. I can't get any more. So I'm trying to stretch it and make it last as long as I can. Okay, fine. Again, you got to do what you got to do. But that's the only way to make them operate, to make flintlocks operate with any kind of substitute that I've ever used. And I think they're probably all like that. I haven't tried the, the Blackhorn 209 or Buckhorn 209 or whatever that stuff is. I haven't tried it, but I'm willing to bet it probably looks exactly like this. Now, I did have one fella tell me, he left me a comment and said that he takes some real black powder and he mixes it with Pyrodex and that works for him. Well, again, you got to do what you got to do. And if that works for you and that's the only way you can get it to shoot well and that's what you got to do, well, then fine. I'm not going to try that. I'm not doing any more videos with substitutes in flintlocks because they all end up just like this. It's all bad. It's all unacceptable. So again, the moral of the story is just this. Flintlocks require real black powder. If you have real black powder, save it for your flintlocks. Use your Pyrodex or 777 or whatever it is you got for everything else. Cartridges, cap and ball pistols, any, anything with a cap ignition, basically. 777 or all those other substitutes will work just fine. With a flintlock, not the case. Now, I always get people that tell me, well, I can't buy real black powder. Well, you know what I've been doing for several years? Making it myself, and it works like a charm. I highly recommend it. And especially now with the price and availability of real black powder, there's really not much other option, at least for folks like me and friends of mine that shoot this much. So, as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, well, then go make your own damn video.